Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. You know, I know I shouldn't. I know I've shown you this picture before, but every time I look at it, it reminds me just how bold Harry really is when he's not being photoshopped. And also, he just reminds me of Friar Tuck. I, I, I can't help it. All right, so we're going to look at some information that I've given you guys before, and then we're going to look at things that you guys can do to help make it better on the internet and stop this hate towards the royal family. So stick with me on this, okay? Let's go. I'm going to start off this video by reminding you guys that over a year ago, well over a year ago, I did a video called How She Controls Him, which shows how um, Megan was controlling Harry with her touch. This was the touch video. An article came out recently talking about the silent gestures that Meghan Markle uses to get Prince Harry to stop talking. Well, I've already shown those to you in several videos, so I figured we would go back and take a look at that again since this article just came out. How many of you remember three months ago when Harry was supposed to go to this awards ceremony and it was just supposed to be Harry and then Meghan decides to tag along and she wore this red dress with the cinnamon buns on her breasts? And then she tried to rush Harry through the receiving line where Harry was really in his element talking and she kept rubbing him and touching him. And at one point she actually said, shall we? And she tried to pull him away. Remember this? And here they are at the Commonwealth Service and Harry's going through the receiving line and he's talking to people and he's having a really good time and he's in his element. And Megan walks up and was like, come on, it's time to go. Stop talking. And look at her face when they turn around to leave. Watch this. And how many of you remember in my video a year and a half ago when I showed you this, they're outside in the rain talking to a gentleman in the wheelchair. And as soon as Megan was ready to leave, she took her hand off his back, signaling to Harry to stop talking so they could go. Remember this? How many of you remember this one when Harry was in his element talking and Megan felt that she wasn't in the middle in the conversation and she touched Harry and basically got him to step back and let her in. Remember that one I showed you a year ago? Here it is again. Or even this one, Ugh, just watch. I recommend that you watch this video that you see above, the follow-up to how Megan controls Harry. This is the one where they're literally fighting for power with their hands. And at one point, Megan actually smacks Harry. She thinks it's dark and nobody can see it. She smacks Harry with her hand. You guys should also watch the video I did a year ago called The Stare, where you can see that she's also trying to convey to him to speak or not speak by the way she's looking at him. Yeah, I'll link both of these in the description box for you. As you can see, the video is less than three minutes long, so nice and short and definitely worth a look-see. Okay, I, I just had to touch on this. On Twitter, uh, Fifi, the Cambridges, put up a tweet about one of the Sussex Squad's videos, uh, a, a, by the way, a monetized video, so they're making money off of this, and the fact that in this video, the person who's talking 
calls Kate some horrible names and says, I'm going to cyber bully her and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It's, it's disgusting. But this is what I got out of it. This, what you're looking at above is the, I guess you call it the banner picture that goes across the top of the page. How many black people do you see in that picture? <laughs> the picture they chose to represent them on this page is a picture of Harry and Meghan passing by all white UK people that are waving, waving flags and taking pictures. Yeah, that's that doesn't exactly back up their whole racism in the UK thing, but okay, whatever. Now, if you want to report that video, if you go to the uh, website for Fifi on Twitter, uh, she actually gives you a link to the video so you don't have to search for it and you don't even have to listen to the video so that the Sussex squad makes money off of it. She explains exactly how to uh, report it. I did, I think it's horrible. It's so much hate just being spewed over people they've never even met. It's just boggles your mind. Okay, moving on. All right, next up, this really caught my attention. Um, Evan Einstein, who's also on Twitter, has posted that Mr. Boozy admitted to a collaboration with Meghan Markle. He wrote that he admitted his report was one-sided on those who don't support Meghan Markle, and he published in a tweet that he has received substantial donations from the Sussex squad. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, the Sussex squad supposedly is giving him money to go after people. and He hasn't filed one lawsuit, guys. At least none that I've been able to find. As for this story, I have to assume it's true because you don't uh, post stuff like this on the internet unless you can back it up. So I'm assuming um, Mr. Einstein has the tweet. Be interesting to follow this one. We're going to touch real quickly on this tweet by Am. I think that's how you say it. This tweet says that the coaching by Better Up started to be planned when Harry was made president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust and was still a working royal. And it continued after he was stripped of that role. And I might add, Megan was the vice president, which didn't exist, but they made that role for her so that she could do it with Harry. You guys remember that? So I, for one, find it very interesting that they put a disclaimer on the Commonwealth Trust, it's an independent organization. We have a free and open forum. You can share your insights, et cetera, et cetera. And at the bottom, it says it may be from time to time supported in its work by members of the royal family. But here's the rub. On the website, Harry is still listed as the president and Megan is still listed as the vice president, even though those roles were stripped from them how long ago? And they're in a business that's making money off of the connection on this website. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I myself went to the Queen's Commonwealth Trust website. And as you can see, when you scroll down on the main page, there's Better Up right there on the page. Then you go back up to the top and you click the button for the blog. And then after it connects, this is what you see. This page... And when you scroll down, what comes up? Better up. Yes, it does make it look like they're working together. So once again, another way to put in a complaint if you don't like it, thank you Paula M for this, you can actually go to the Commonwealth Trust website and submit a complaint for them advertising Better Up, which is a for-profit company to help Prince Harry's profile. Yes. So All I'm right. going I to know take that's care a lot of, of information. As well. And I hope you guys do go back and review my older videos that I linked in the description box. So what do you guys think about the way that Megan controls Harry by touch and by stare? Hey, what do you think about the Sussex Squad podcast banner photo being all white people cheering for them as they went through the crowd? And I, for one, sincerely hope that you follow the instructions given for reporting that podcast and reporting uh, the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, what they're doing with the website, because that's really shameful. So you know I want your comments on this one. Don't forget to leave excellent comments for me to read. I read them all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and, and make sure that you get notifications every time I upload. And if you've already hit the subscribe button, please go back and double check because we all know YouTube's been unsubscribing people. We don't know why. So if you are subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. You know you can follow me on Getter. You can follow me on Twitter. You can email me. For those who have donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.